Hello, my name is Phil Waters. I'm one of the tutors on the uh, Uniform Public Services course here at Brooklands College. Our aim, almost really our sole aim, is to prepare young people for careers in the armed services, the Army, Navy and the Air Force, and the emergency services, the police, fire and ambulance. We do a lot of work in class that involves helping them to prepare for those careers. So we deal with things like responding to emergency incidents, where we look at how the control room in the police service or the ambulance service is operated, the sort of skills that you need. We do skill development activities to help people to get those right, get those skills correctly. Um, I deal with police powers and I teach about powers to arrest, I teach about powers to stop and search. What goes on in the police station once you're in custody? Uh, most people have no idea, thankfully. So we do a, a lot about that and we do role plays involving one student being arrested, one student being the arresting officer, and one student being the custody sergeant and the arresting officer presents his prisoner to the custody sergeant who then authorises search and they seize items and they have to report to the custody sergeant about why the person is in custody. So that's police powers. We do things like public service employment where uh, we look at the jobs that people would want to get into and we help them to prepare for job interviews and to develop the skills that they need for that and to look at all the things that they need to know like the, the skills that they want, the, um, the perks that there are with the job, what are the benefits, what do you get, do you get a healthcare programme, do you get travel expenses, do you get a uniform, what's the training all about, how long does the training last. Working with me we have uh, a former Royal Marine called James who is able to help the students with all sorts of really good physical stuff. James is a qualified PTI uh, and has done what is the longest training program in the armed services with the Marines and was one of the tutors on it. So he brings all those skills to bear. And the other member of our team, John, is see, very much a leadership expert who has got his degree in leadership and teaches all our leadership classes. Now it's stop, stop it fraying. We won't fray again. What do you like about the course? That everyone's really well. Yeah. Um, what kind of projects and things do you enjoy doing? Like teamwork and all that. And uh, communicating with everyone. Who's got a bit of road to cut, guys? Have a look. Would you recommend yeah. Brooklyn? Yeah, I'd recommend it. It's really good. Yeah, and what do you want to do in the future? I want to be a policeman on the night. Last lesson. Last lesson was theory based, but it was Unit 30, Practical Team Sport. And today we're going to obviously do a practical team sport. Um, criteria link, okay? You know you're working on assignment one, P1, P2, and P3. P3 is a criteria that we're going to in part achieve today. We're not going to do it all because you have to demonstrate two sets of sport, but we're going to do one at a team, which is badminton, um, and then we're going to obviously allow you <coughs> to choose your own one. But if we do this one together, you'll know the process for when you choose your own one. So today, P3 is hopefully, fingers crossed, demonstrate skills in two practical team sports. And today, like I say, we're going to do badminton. So it's a, it's a level three uh, extended diploma group. Um, and they're doing uh, unit 30, practical team sport. Obviously the subject's public services. Why did you choose Brooklyn? Uh, it's quite close to me and I've heard very good things about it. Okay. And in terms of this course, why public services? Um, because I'd like to be a fireman when I'm older and I thought this is the best way to achieve my dream job. I like the physical aspect, so like the boot camps and the PE and uh, just like the hiking and stuff like that. The reason why we picked the unit is because it's a practical based unit and obviously in most of the public services, whether it's police or the armed forces, you, pursue, you can pursue a practical team sport. And what this does is just kind of give the students just a little bit more sort of consistency with knowing the rules, learning some skills and techniques, and seeing if they can then develop that when they go into a public service. Another reason why we uh, picked the practical team sport unit is because their other fitness based unit is fitness testing, so there's no team sports in that. So we like to try and give like, a rounded sort of experience for the students. Um, so obviously, yeah, it's, you've got the fitness testing with James, which is purely fitness testing and, and strength and conditioning, whereas here you've got more the teamwork side coming out of it and practical team sports. I chose Brooklyn because it's a, got a good public services course and it's very enjoyable. The teachers do teach good subjects and it's quite a friendly uh, college. Well, I like drill and um, yeah, drill and turnout because I like doing the physical stuff and it's quite nice. 
to actually get out and do practical. I want to go straight into the police force. Um, I want to go through with an apprenticeship, which they are helping me with. So, yeah. Would you recommend Brooklyn? Yeah, I would. Definitely this course. I quite, I really like it. I think it's a good course to go to. We've had a great deal of success getting our young people into employment with both the armed services and the public services. What we tend to find is that when they finish with us, they don't necessarily go straight into any of those occupations. They'll go out and do something different. We had one lady who was an estate agent, various people who worked at Thorpe Park, but eventually they come round to what it was that brought them to Brooklyn's in the first place, and that is a career in the emergency or the armed services. So. They then contact us and say, would you be kind enough to give me a reference? We do that. We help them with their application forms. We help them with what they can expect when they go for interview. And we give them guidance about the best route to go into. We also offer a, an HNC and an HND in specifically policing. And as a former police officer, I really enjoy that course. It's a course that I think is very exciting and is a great doorway to getting into policing. Among the things that we teach on that, there is a, a research project that the students have to do. The Chief Constable of Surrey has just agreed to be the person that sets the, the problem that they've got to solve. And there's also a volunteering unit in there where they can volunteer to be special constables uh, or to work in an admin office, admin position within the police service. And again, Surrey Police have agreed to open their doors to allow our students to do that. So there's lots of really good things going on here, helping young people to achieve the dreams that they had.